Hi, this is a picture of me, and this is a picture of Kalba. Kalba is my spoiled Pomeranian who is looking at me right now because I called her name, and she's hoping that there is a T-R-E-A-T -E involved for it, so she's heading over in this direction. Now, what I'm going to share with you today is a story that just happened today, and it literally blew me a blew my mind, but really it should not have. Now hold on, I'm going to change the picture and you'll see what I mean. Now this is Paw Depot. Paw Depot is where I take Kamba to get groomed. Notice it says here, you love them enough to give them the best. Well, I was about to find what they had in mind. You see, uh, we like Kamba to keep her hair short. They call it a lion cut. I think it looks really cute. Some of my kids like it. Some of my kids can't stand it. But nonetheless, that's where we go. And today, she went to get groomed. Now, what happened at the end of the grooming session blew my mind. You see, I needed to get a carrier bag for Kalba. She kind of had an accident in the last one, and we can't get the odor out of it. So Sandra, my assistant, said, Hey, we need to get another bag for Kalba. So I said, Do you have another bag? Well, of course they had another bag. They took something out. It was made out of leather. It might as well have been made out of gold. It was insane. Just looking at at it, I knew it was expensive. I didn't have the heart to ask them how expensive it was. I just knew that was beyond my budget. Well, I came back and I looked it up on Amazon. And what it was on Amazon will just blow you away. Give me a moment to show you. So he pulls out a bag from Becky Winston Designs. I absolutely cannot believe what I am looking at. I later track it down and I find out that these dog and cat carriers are made by hand in Los Angeles. Now, I'm in Boca Raton. It's considered a pretty uh, prosperous area. And I am looking at this thing. I don't even see the model here. Um, it's made out of leather. Um... And I'm like, this is insane. I can't even believe what this thing is going to cost. So I start searching. I find this website and go, oh, my God, that's it. There it is. It's the Black Stingray. Now, I have no idea whether this is hand cultivated from stingrays that are uh, raised organically. But this is what they're buying. So I go and I look on Amazon and there it is. This, this dog carrier bag is $1,695.95. And Kalba, you know, uh, we may like you a lot, but we are not spending that kind of money for you. But these are the kinds of things that they sell every day. So we ended up getting um, a, a carrier, brought down another carrier that looked a little more normal. And no, it did not sell for any of the prices that you see here. Not $19.99, <coughs> not $27.99. The carrier they sold me, some other fancy pants brand, was $169. Now, folks, people are spending this money every day of the week in the pet business. You really want to be part of this. Head over to my site, kilstein.com forward slash six. I'll put it up on the screen and it'll be in the link below. But you got to watch what's going on. There's huge money. When people are spending $1,700 for a Stingray handmade leather pet uh, carrier, 
black stingray leather, 100% leather. My, my dog wouldn't know whether she was supposed to go in it or chew on it. Um, folks, this is an insane niche, and you should be part of it.